Okay, guys, it's the wee hours in the morning. Um, I haven't gone to bed yet, but um, as I was trying to go to bed, uh, the Lord showed me a revelation, and um, I feel like I felt led. To, I felt led. We should be sharing this stuff. What's whispered in our ears, we should shout from the rooftops. And He showed me the revelation of the meaning behind Exodus four. Verses 1 through 4. So in this video, we're going to be covering this, okay? So let's read. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken to my voice, for they will say, The Lord has not appeared to you. And the Lord said to him, What is that in your hand? He said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from the serpent. And the Lord said to Moses, Put forth your hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. So what does this symbology mean? Um, we're just covering these four verses. So let's look at verse 2, okay? And the Lord said, what is in your hand? And he said, a rod. So a rod is in Moses' hand. What does a rod represent? You know, think of Psalm 23, the Lord's rod and his staff. It comforts me. So maybe I don't have the exact terminology, but to me it's like um, the calling or the authority given to us by the grace of God, right? Um, our calling, um, I don't know. I, I, I just don't have the words for it, but spiritually we could discern it. So the Lord has Moses' rod. So pretty much what to just get down to this, what verse two and three is saying, if Moses throws his rod to the ground and denies his calling and doesn't have faith in the Lord, um and just throws it to the ground, then it becomes a serpent and he flees from that serpent. Um you know, uh, maybe we could think of like Jeremiah, like be not afraid of their faces or I will, I will um, dismay you. I will terrify you bef before them, you know, and and now let's go in verse four and it's the opposite. And, and the Lord said to Moses and the Lord um, said to Moses, put forth your hand and take it by the tail. And when Moses grabbed that rod, again, it be when the Moses grabbed that serpent by the tail, it became a rod. So what does that mean to grab the serpent by the tail? Um, the serpent by the tail, we are the head, not the tail. Right? So it's grabbing that serpent saying, you are nothing but a defeated foe. And having that authority, having that knowledge to the grace of God, knowing your place, knowing who we are in Christ... We say to this, that serpent, you are nothing but a defeated foe. I grab you by the tail and it becomes a rod. But when we cast our rod to the ground, it becomes a serpent and we flee from that serpent. And it's not a defeated foe. Because our faith and, and not knowing who we are in Christ um, gives the enemy uh, power over us. So... Um, what do we do? We put forth our hand and we take that enemy by the tail and it becomes a rod because we are the head, not the tail. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, thank you, Lord, for this revelation. I pray this is an edification and a revelation for you guys. God bless you.